How about you looking at a 1999 Dolphin motorhome made by National RV with only 24,000 miles and it is in nice condition. That's not saying it doesn't need any work. It does need some cosmetic work and uh, also we cannot get the generator to start. Just seems like a low battery to me and it has a low hours. only has 140 hours on the generator but um, seems like a low battery. The upholstery is nice and clean. There's no odors. The ceiling is nice and white. All the lights work. Uh, definitely no cooking, smoking, or pets in here. It does have a black mark there. I'm going to bet the bottom of the slide was dirty when it slid in. <coughs> and that'll, um, that'll shampoo out. Also, there is no microwave or hood. No microwave or hood. So that needs to be put back. Stove and oven look good. Actually, that is just a stove top not an oven. Sink looks nice and clean. Has an RV fridge. Lots of storage room here. I really like the uh, bathroom. It's nice and roomy and good looking with a stand-up shower. Now I'm 6'3 and I can stand up in there no problem. The nice shower head. Even looks like it has a bidet on the uh, toilet. Nice and clean. Has a uh, plastic over the mattress. It looks to be in good shape. Lots of storage. Little cosmetics like that light coming down there. The outside, uh, the glass of that. But no watermarks. No, um, no, no leakage anywhere. Floors are nice and firm. Nice hardwood here. Go outside. Got tons of storage. I have them all open. And they look to be clean, not rusty. We do not have keys to the compartments, but those are not a big deal to get. Tires look good. Lots of tread. They're not cracked up. Have the nice, um, they're called simulators. The metal. Has a gas tank there. For LP. Another little storage area. If you look on the side of it, it's a little faded on the blue part. It needs a good compound and wax. The white part looks fine. The decals look fine. It has an enclosed um, awning. Got a little ding here in the back. This compartment is for a spare tire, and there is not a spare tire in there. There's also a trailer hitch. This is the generator. Let's see what we have now. It's a Generac. It's trying to turn it. Battery for this must be low or bad. all I can say on that. Here's where the plug is. It has a plug. It looks like an outside shower head. Hook the water up. This truck was winterized. Motorhome. Anyway, you can see the slide, the top part of the awning, 
has a tear in it but that's the cheapest part of the whole deal getting a slide fabric they're very inexpensive no big deal so windshield grass looks good let me bring the side in in turn off some of these lights Yeah, that's good. Looks like the power step also is not closing. Let's see what happens here. Nope. So these are all little things need to be done. If you're able to do those little things, you will really save some money here. I'm gonna drop it over there. Put my license tag on, we'll go for a quick ride. Okay. Twenty thousand miles, really nothing. It's ready to cruise. Look at what Others are selling similar RVs for with this kind of mileage. The air is blowing cold. The air that runs off of the car. Not tremendously cold. I'm going to say it's cool. But I can definitely feel the compressor kicking in. Which is good. Maybe need a charge. Got a backup camera. No TV in the top. This is easy to drive. Very easy. for a quick ride will definitely drive you home with no problem it's located in Manchester Pennsylvania which is about 20 miles north of York we're right off of uh, I-83 and this is where I keep all my RVs and trailers I should say most RVs and trailers. No exhaust noises, like a lot of times you'll hear a little bit of manifold noise. Don't hear it in this. It drops into overdrive nicely. Nice big windows for great views. They're 50 miles an hour really like nothing. Mechanic to check in, and this is a repossession, by the way. But it does come with a clear title, a bill of sale, and a 60-day temporary license tag. No bad history or anything on this, other than the fact that it was a repossession. This beautiful country here. Yep. I'll stop there, bus. There's 55. Back roads, but she cruises along fine. On the highway, it'd be like driving a, uh, you know, on a pillow. Plenty of power. Uh, 
Now once this motorhome hits the reserve, it will sell. Again, look what others are selling similar motorhomes for. Definitely in the range of say eighteen to twenty thousand dollars easily. This one will sell for less. It needs some cosmetics. If you're able to do those things, you'll have a nice running motorhome. Play with the generator, play with the cosmetics, and uh, you'll really save some money, like I said. Big help for a motorhome like this. But she goes well. for a quick turn around here and I think I have one up here. Do one more. See if I can do all this one handed. If I can do that one-handed, you should be able to drive it pretty easily. No check engine lights on. Shifts nicely. So to sum it up, got to get the generator running, put a TV up in there, do some cosmetics around, play with all the systems, the AC and the refrigerator we know work. It has been winterized so we did not try the water system. So buy this dolphin. It's a nice motorhome. Put your handyman to work on it for a day, do some cosmetics around, wax it up on the bottom, and uh, do a little bit of cleaning inside and you'll be ready to cruise for the summer. So buy this low mileage dolphin. <laughs>